Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dan or A Drive here. Bring you guys another starter deck showcase. Today I'm gonna be giving you guys the Sintarbur starter deck breakdown, which is available as a pre-order at shopillustrals.com for just 72 hours to get involved in the pre-order playtest of Illustrals prior to Kickstarter. If you guys want to join the Discord server, go to discord.gg slash illustrals and you can check the description below for the full how to play guide, some games, and much, much more, including breakdowns of all the other decks before you make whatever deck you want to grab, if you're not gonna grab all of them or whatever. Um, I think you could definitely get a lot out of it by trying one of each, but I understand that that's not, you know, realistic for everybody, so no, no stress there. Uh, a couple things to note, uh, these are prototype cards. The final quality will be better, as I've been saying in every one of these videos, but they still look very nice, but just know that we've got really, really good prints coming. Um, and we are playing some tournaments as well that people can play with these online up until the Kickstarter. Um, so that should be it. Tell your friends about this. That's the, that's the best way for Illustrals to be successful is for you guys to tell your friends. So I'm gonna break down the cards. So we've got the Centarbor deck, which I think is probably, I think Centarbor is probably the best of the five uh, in terms of like boss Illustrals. Um, I think I think this deck is very good. Um, they're all good in their own way. Uh, so this is Sprouter. Sprouter allows you to search your deck for an artifact, which is really, really helpful. Kind of being able to boost the power of your Illustrals very quickly. You've got Say Timber here, which has a very unique effect that allows it to essentially uh, special ascend into Centaurbor very quickly if you can pair Say Timber with an artifact and destroy an Illustral, which sounds complicated, but it's really not too bad if you can get the Say Timber on the field effectively. And then Centaurbor has the ability of disenchanting to destroy cards on the field. Very, very powerful being able to destroy anything on the field. And then if Foloi Forest is enchanted, he's not uh, targetable by Invoke Runes. And I think that with this deck, getting Folo Forest on the on the field is going to be very important because it pairs so well with everything and, and Centaurbor. This is Tectorus. Uh, this is an old print of it. You guys will have the updated print when you pre-order, so no worries. But this gains one attack for every enchanting Earth Spirit on the field. So very, very good. Uh, Folo Forest makes this thing immediately a three plus itself with a uh, Earth Spirit is four. The Folo gets in another one. It, it ends up being very, very strong very quickly, especially when you put, you know, Demeter or Demeter Scythe in the field. Uh, just just Tectorus and Demeter alone with plus three gives you uh, like seven attack. I mean, this thing is very, very strong. Clovey gives you some drawing power. Every time Clovey gets an enchantment, you get to draw a card. Sakurasaur allows you to expend two Earth Spirits from your spirit deck to draw two cards. So again, more drawing power. Drataya, more drawing power. If you enchant Ambrosia while Jotyra is enchanted, you get to draw two cards. Again, being able to replenish your spirit deck and your hand very effectively. Equal Links is your Nexus Elestral. Uh, it allows you to destroy a rune on the field, so you get some rune control through the Nexus mechanic with Equal Links. Spine Nymph, I think, is a really, really underrated card. I think a lot of people will like. When it gets destroyed in battle with its five defense, you actually become an artifact on an Elestral, and you drop their attack to zero. And uh, five defense is very good early game. You can use it offensively to attack an Elestral. Um, I mean, there's some really cool strategies with that that I'll let you guys explore. And then Spinosect, a dual type. I think Spinosect is probably one of the premier cards in the game. It has nine defense. It can attack while in defense position using its defense stat. But again, you have to utilize an Earth and a Wind Spirit to properly enchant it for that effect. Pegas gives you a little bit more rune control. You can just destroy runes when it gets enchanted. And Veritaco gives you a little bit of strength in terms of dealing with some of those defense position Elestrals. Sorolid is just one of the premier wind Elestrals, being able to change the positioning of Elestrals on the field uh, if they're not wind, and also just being a five attacker. Moving to the runes, we've got Nectar of the Gods for draw power. Scythe the Demeter is very good, giving you two attack and three defense. One of the few artifacts that actually boosts your defense as well. If you destroy an Elestral in battle, you get to replenish your spirit, your under, you replenish your spirit deck from your underworld. So very strong. Tornado gives you a little bit more removal, and then Earthquake, very strong card, obviously, being able to just destroy an Elestral on the field, no problem. The art is not here, but we have a beautiful card for Folo Forest, so I, I think you guys are gonna love that. That'll be updated for the, the official deck, as will the art for Demeter. I got these, um, you know, I had to order these a couple weeks ago. Um, Demeter basically allows you to uh, increase the attack and defense of your Elestral by three. So it's kind of like an inverse Zeus. Instead of dropping theirs, you increase yours uh, for that turn. So the Sky gives you your Nexus. And I think one of the best cards in the game is Poison Tipped Arrow. And I think that's one of the keys to the, the Centaurbor starter deck. This card allows you to decrease an Elestral by two when it's enchanted. So you have to time it with an enchantment, whether it's an, a normal enchantment when it's enchanted the first time, or you're enchanting or sending, whatever it is. You drop their attack and defense by two, or it's attacked by two, but if they're still on the field in the end phase, you can destroy them by expending a spirit. So it's basically a two spirit 
cost to destroy a card as a counter. Very good. Ambrosia gives you some more spirit recovery, so you can see this deck is very gonna be stally. Tsunami, nice to slow things down, and then you've got your spirits. Lots of Tarratlis, my boy. And then you're gonna shift over to a couple Leviathans for that Tsunami and the Veritaqua. And then your Lycoris will allow those P-Guests and those Sorlets to work nicely. I think Centarbor, if you're only gonna get one deck, I feel like Centarbor might be the one, but I'll have to, you'll have to take a look at all the starter deck breakdowns to determine what's best for you. This is definitely a good one. Stratomoth's my favorite, and that's the one I'm filming next, though. So enjoy. Shopalestrals.com. Pre-order your deck now. 72 hours to do it. Pick it up. Thank you guys so much for forwarding Elestrals, and go check out the other decks.